Once upon a time, in Appleton, Wisconsin, there was a band called Soup. Soup was a power trio, and like all power trios, they liked to jam. They were well known in Wisconsin and had something of a regional underground head shop hit with a song called Black Cadillac. As was standard in all great rock trios of the era, Soup was led by an innovative and musically adventurous guitarist. His name was Doug Yankis. Welcome to Wisconsinology on Music, a collaboration with 91.1 The Avenue and Wisconsinology.com. In the mid to late 60s, the near west side of Appleton was a music hotspot. It boasted a recording studio, an independent record label, and a lot of talent. There were bands like Blues Phase, The Private Property of Digital, The Love Society, and many more, all of them recording bands. In the late 60s, American music had entered the Jimi Hendrix era. It was a time of guitar gods and trios. In Appleton, Doug Yankis was that guitar god. In 1968, he formed a trio called Soup. Soup became a vehicle for his eclectic, ever-changing guitar explorations. Backed by Rob Griffith on drums and Dave Foss on bass, Yankis dove into long solos, where on any given song he would wander up and down and through the hallways of jazz, rock, big band, psychedelia, blues, you name it. The music expressed total freedom. This was an era when people sat on the floor of gymnasiums, auditoriums, clubs, and listened attentively to bands. Soup had a large and devoted regional following, and their word of mouth was considerable. They cut a first album, a collection of different recordings, some of them demos, others not. Through a network of head shops and regional record stores, they managed to ship a reported 15,000 copies of that album. A hastily put together and plainly wrapped LP, it came in a blank cardboard sleeve with an 8x10 insert. Sometime after a 1970 Tuesday night appearance at the Fillmore East in New York City, they cut a second album on Big Tree Records, a small but national label. Unfortunately, the album Soup, as it was called, garnered little attention. The music scene was changing. Trios were out, country rock was happening, and long jams became the property of arena-sized progressive rock and progressive jazz ensembles. For the moment, Soup decided to call it quits. In 1972, Doug Yankis joined a band from Fond du Lac called White Duck. White Duck had a recording contract with an industry giant, RCA Records. They released two albums, both of which bombed. But White Duck did have two great, and I mean great, singers. One was Fond du Lac native Don Klutsky. The other was a teenage singer-songwriter from Indiana named John Hyatt. Yes, that John Hyatt. Recording with White Duck in Nashville opened the eyes of Doug Yankis. The city was filled to overflowing with the greatest guitar players the world had ever seen, and Yankis ate it up. He was a former regional hotshot who realized that he needed to get his already excellent skills not to another level, but to a different, more song-focused level. By the mid-70s, Yankis was living in Madison. He led his own band, the Doug Yankis Band, and he was also in John Hyatt's off-and-on backup band, The Hot Babies. In 1979, Doug Yankis played guitar on Slugline, the most successful of John Hyatt's early albums. In 1980, Rob Griffith, Yankis's former bandmate in Soup, passed away at the young age of 30. Doug Yankis, a diabetic and always in ill health, passed away a few years later. Many say he was Wisconsin's Jimi Hendrix or Eric Clapton. I think he was a bit more. A friend of mine caught him on a good night with the Doug Yankis band 
at the Church Key, a club in Madison. For a moment, during an excellent and tight set, he was the 1969 Doug Yankis, eclectic, restless, inspiring, quoting obscure jazz riffs, and exploring the entirety of the American musical map. If you ever grab a pizza from Stucks on College Avenue in Appleton, look across Douglas Street at the row of buildings standing there. In one of those buildings, their first and subsequent early rehearsals, in another, all the great Appleton bands of that era made records. But that is another story. For 91.1 The Avenue and Wisconsinology.com, I'm Frank Anderson. Wisconsinology on Music is presented by a grant from the Bright Idea Fund from the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region.